Growing up, Jim Maher had a natural knack for drawing, but pursued a career in equine physiology. Over time, his artistic passion eventually caught up to him. If I ever had time for it, I would draw, and then it's kind of drawn to looking at sculpture. We'd go and, and to museums and things like that, and it really seemed to be, uh, really speak to me. So when I did have time, I started kind of messing around with it. And, uh, and then I ended up finishing a piece, a uh, bucking horse and rider. After producing and selling his first sculpture, he was hooked. He then met local sculptor Dale Lamphere, who he apprenticed under for about four years. I learned uh, a lot of the technical aspects of it from him and from other guys that worked there. And also, most importantly to me, was the uh, more of the ideas behind sculpting and design and, and that sort of a deal. It was, I mean, the most valuable thing that could have happened to me, you know, as somebody that wanted to try to make a living at it, so. Maher began working on his own projects and has done countless pieces over the last 30 years. He says mentors helped him grow as an artist. I think the crucial thing is to be willing to look to somebody else as a mentor, like Dale was to me, and then um, I took a seminar from another fellow whose work I found really inspiring too, that was Richard McDonald. And uh, every time you see something like that, somebody will show you, you know, there's another level to go to you know, something else to shoot for. So I think that's important. In 2000, he was one of the handful of artists to craft the City of Presidents statues in Rapid City. With 11 presidents done, his 12th creation will be President Donald Trump. He does research on each piece to bring the statues to life, each with details that takes hours to perfect. There, there aren't any of them that aren't interesting in some way, you know, when you get into it. And there's a fair amount of material on all of them, you know, because I mean, they're presidents. Among his other notable projects are the Laura Ingalls Wilder piece in DeSmit and sculptures in the Trail of Governors in Pierre.